It is Mystics Corner Game Day. Frank Hanrahan with you as the Mystics are now 6-5 and five after a big victory over the L.A. Sparks on Saturday night at Verizon Center. The Mystics were actually knotted up at 63 late but went on a 12-0 run to finish off the Sparks. A much-needed win at home as the Mystics kicked off six straight at home. Reaction after the game from Elena Beard, Chastity Melvin, and Crystal Langhorn here on Mystics Corner Game Day. You guys started real offensively tough in the beginning of the first quarter and well, first half at that. Talk about talk about the first half and the team's tempo. Uh, we just tried to come out and play aggressive at home. It's our home court. But um, I think uh, L.A. was a little bit lackadaisical. I mean, they're a really good team. I don't think they came having a lot of respect for us. But I think we made them a believer today, so it'll be a tough game next game. <laughs> you got in the late third quarter and early fourth quarter, the Sparks made a good run to try to get back in the game. Can you tell us what was the team's focus finish, trying to finish the game? Well, you know, I mean, I just try to tell the team basketball is a game of runs, and they just made a run. I mean, you're not going to keep it down the whole entire game. That's just the way basketball goes. So we just tried to pull together on defense, make sure our help side was there, and try to get a few stops. Now, with two minutes left in the fourth quarter, the game was tied up, but you hit the key layup to bring the, to, to take the team, the team the lead back in the game. Can you talk about that play and the team's focus trying to finish off the game? Well, you know, I haven't started out playing the way I wanted to. I mean, I, I, I mean, I've been around the game a long time, and I've just been thinking too much. And tonight, and the last game, I'm just kind of coming into myself, and I'm getting to know my teammates more. I know we have a young team, but I'm just trying to chill out now and kind of letting the game come to me. So I knew the shot clock was going down. I thought Lindsey was going to take it, and she did. And I just didn't rush the shot. I just tried to take a good shot, follow through, and fortunately for me, it went in. You had a very productive uh, game. Finished with 26 points. Can you take us through the first half and the tempo and talk about your play a little bit? Um, the first half, I just wanted to come out aggressive. I feel like um, if I come out and set the tone on both the defensive and offensive end, I feel like the team, you know, they do a good job of following. Um, so I just wanted to come out, be more aggressive. I felt like in my past few games, I've been sort of passive and um, not aggressive. And I wanted to just come out and be more aggressive this game. Teammate Crystal Langhorn finished with 11 boards for the game. Talk about her play and how she was getting so many uh, rebounds uh, amongst the Sparks' big big men. That's Crystal Langhorn, you know. Um, I expect that from her. If she don't have a double-double in, you know, rebounds, um, I look at her and I'm asking her, you know, where is it? You know, you expect that from her. She's very consistent. She's going to give you a double-double, you know, most of the time. And, um, I mean, she's I can count on her in every game. You finished with, you finished with eight points and 11 rebounds. Talk about trying to get boards as the Sparks big men were, looked like all of them were above 6'5". Six, six, um, we know they're a big team, but um, our, our game plan was just to be really aggressive and go to the glass and box them out. Take us through, take us through the fourth quarter with two minutes left and the game tied up. What was, it, what, was the mind, what was the mentality of the team trying to finish off the game? Um, just not to let this game go. We've had some games where we were up and then uh, we will let things slip away. So our focus was, you know, just get through these two minutes and win the game. This is your second year in the league. Your play is getting better. Your coach, your coach calls you the steady Eddie of the team. <laughs> How easy has the game gone for you in your second year? Um, you know, I just think a lot has to do with my, to do with my coach's confidence in me. And, um, you know, I'm playing a lot more this year and I've worked on some things in the offseason. So um, I'm just a lot more comfortable playing. The Mystics were actually up 34 to 10 in this ball game, but the uh, Sparks came back. But in the end, the Mystics closed out the ball game and improved again to six and five on the season. Candace Parker, the WNBA Player of the Year and the Rookie of the Year last year, made her first start for the Sparks. And our Jen Daniels of Mystics Corner Game Day had a chance to catch up with the new mom before the ball game. Hey, Mystics fans, I'm Jen Daniels here outside the visitor's locker room at the Verizon Center with a player who needs no introduction, Candace Parker. Candace, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. No problem. Congratulations on the birth of your child. How does it feel to be back? It feels great to be back on the floor. I think the main thing was just getting out there with my teammates. And, um, you know, the first practice was so exciting. Um, and then, obviously, to come back and play was, was great as well. So every day is a process, taking one step at a time. But it's been, it's been great so far. 
And what was the hardest part for you uh, mentally and physically? It had to be exhausting just to work your way back here. I speak about that a little bit. Well, the main thing is, um, you know, it's not on my time anymore. It's on my daughter's time. So sometimes you get three hours of sleep. Sometimes you get eight hours of sleep. Um, it varies. So that was the main thing, um, coming back, not being able to, to predict, you know, how tired you're going to be. And then also just mentally, you know, trying to stay focused in the game. And then, um, you know, obviously physically coming back from nine months being off, my timing was off and my legs, you know, aren't underneath me all the way. But, you know, there's bits and pieces of, of things that are slowly coming back. The Mystics in that victory over the L.A. Sparks and Candace Parker were led by Elena Beard, who for the second time this year was named the WNBA Player of the Week in two games, averaged 20 points and four rebounds. But her performance against the Sparks when she scored 26, the first 13 of the ball game, were very key for the Mystics in that victory. When we come back here on Mystics Corner Game Day, the San Antonio Silver Stars come to town on Wednesday morning. We'll preview that game next here on WashingtonMystics.com. Natural gas is a cleaner burning fuel, yet a lot of natural gas has impurities like CO2 in it. Controlled freeze zone is a new technology being developed by ExxonMobil to remove the CO2 from the natural gas so we can safely store it where it won't get into the atmosphere. ExxonMobil is spending more than $100 million to build a plant that will demonstrate this process. I'm very optimistic about it because this technology could be used to reduce greenhouse gas emissions significantly. Trudy Lacey, Washington Mystics assistant coach, joining us here on WashingtonMystics.com. San Antonio comes to town on uh, Wednesday morning. It's camp day. It's you got you got your day. earplugs. Um, you ready for that? We might need some <laughs> earplugs, but uh, it'd be a lot of energy in the building. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Big victory. Let's let's just really quickly talk about the LA Sparks closing out ball games. Has been a bit of an issue for this team. 12-0 run to close out the Sparks. I'm sure you liked what you saw. Uh, absolutely, we did. And um, as you mentioned, we had uh, lost some close games mm -hmm. on the road. But, you know, like we've told the players, it's a learning process. And so those uh, close losses actually helped us mm -hmm. in the win against L.A. Now with the Sparks behind you, San Antonio, the Silver Stars beat San Antonio there last month. You're breaking down tape. Well, what do you see in San Antonio? What scares you? What are the keys to beating them? Well, I mean, San Antonio is a very good team. They're coming off a tough loss um, at home against Minnesota, mm -hmm. so they'll be ready for us. Mm -hmm. They run a lot of sets. Yeah. Obviously, uh, their star, uh, Becky Hammond, and also Sophia Young will be keys mm -hmm. that we need to focus in on. But they have uh, other players making contributions. Ruth Riley is a, is a very good yeah. uh, three-point shooter, even though she's a center. Mm -hmm. um, Snell coming off the bench is very good. They run um, a lot of sets, but mm -hmm. I think we'll be prepared for them. Um, you know, we, we defensively play better against L.A., so yeah. we'll have to uh, toss it up and see what happens. They, I mean, L.A. scored, I think, seven points in the first quarter. And it's, uh, the, it's, again, start and the finish. You put it all together. That's what you like to see. Let's talk about your team real quick. I mean, I'm impressed just by Bernice Mosby, a, a player that was your last cut. She comes in and without hesitation. just and That's what you like to see. You don't want to see them coming in being shy. Right. For Bernice, it's good to see her playing well. Yeah, and she helps us defensively. Uh, she adds some quickness to the lineup. Defensively, we can switch and do some things that we couldn't do before. She brings a lot of energy. Uh, she can take players off the dribble. So she's added a, a very nice dimension to our team. All right, Coach, before I let you go, because I know you got some other things to do uh, here at the offices, uh, last key to the beating San Antonio, because like you said, they run a lot of sets. But what can your team do to take control of what they can do best? Well, two things that we can do and we've been doing well is uh, rebounding. We've okay. been rebounding very well. So if we rebound and we're able to play up-tempo and push the ball, I think we'll win the game. All right, Coach, good luck. All right, thanks. Breast health awareness is an important issue. Remind all the important women in your life to get a mammogram today. For more information, visit hoopsandheels.com or sullivancenter.sibley.org. Mystics coach Trudy Lacey breaking down game film and preparing for the San Antonio Silver Stars Wednesday morning at Verizon Center at 11.30. Do not forget this weekend, another Saturday night tilt for the Mystics as they host the New York Liberty for the first time this year. For some reason, the Liberty always seems to have the Mystics number, but maybe not this year. General reminder that it's also Gospel Night as well as Health Awareness Night, so a lot going on Saturday night at Verizon Center. Contact your local ticket uh, agent for more information or always go online here at Washington Mystics or call 1877 DC Hoop One. For the entire gang here at Mystics Corner Game Day, I'm Frank Hanrahan. We'll see you at Verizon Center when the Mystics take on the San Antonio Silver Stars.